Next up, I'm gonna show you my next tool in the tool belt. Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to JMAC Sports Cards. So, uh, I just wanted to check back in. I want to do a follow-up video here. A lot of people have been, I guess a lot, of, several of you have went out and purchased that Epson scanner. Pretty cool. So a lot, some of you use my Amazon affiliate link. Thank you for doing that. It's so, some have gotten it. There's been some, some negative, some positive comments, some in-between comments, and, and right, right along the list. So, I, I want to kind of just go over and address some of the questions slash comments. I've had a busy week. I hadn't, hadn't had an opportunity here to uh, make a video, but um, I have approached, I finally hit 5,000 listings. Well, I'm about 40 shy. 5,000 listings on eBay. So I'm super stoked about that. And I bought a little collection this week. But part of the reason I didn't make any videos is because behind me, you can see I built out the shelving there myself up high. So, cause I bought a, coll a collection. So all this up top and all this down low. And there's some that I'm processing here, going through it. So those of the collection I haven't went through yet. Um, and I did make a video on it. And I will eventually post it, but it's just going to be sort of a process of process of processing it. Um, and uh, then I'm going to talk about another tool that I have purchased and added to the re the repertoire as far as scaling up and listing on eBay. So anyway, like I said, a lot to talk about. So let's jump right into it. All right. So here here looking at the the scanner. Some some have been talking about the the scratch lines that are on the penny sleeve and um and that do, do i get those and yes sometimes yes i do and they're more pronounced and prominent i commented on one of the comments about it um and kind of gave the explanation but i'll explain it again here on some products it's a lot more pronounced and prominent and a lot of the darker here's a darker card so scratches would show up on the penny sleeve a lot more on that one and the thicker stuff and the shiny chrome type of card we're trying to find some but if you had like this upper deck set right here and penny sleeves like white donruss Don, donruss optic um with white borders you know stuff like that and there are some just some other stuff that just really doesn't the, you don't see any any scratching or lines at all so yeah so you just got to figure out what does well with this i mean if you got as much inventory as i do um i can find thousands of things to list and scan through here but some of it doesn't make sense you get into prism silver well i tell you so the ones that are really bad are the like blue select you know or darker colored uh cards darker colored chrome cards they essentially it, you they're just worthless i'm trying to scan them through this machine but one one tip one trick here you can open it up you need to do this kind of regularly I use a microfiber cloth to get in here, wipe down all the wheels because, you know, stuff comes off these cards. Then there's a mirror in here. I wipe down the mirror, wipe down it, just wipe down everything. And if you wipe this down, I wipe it down every probably 500 scans, three to 500 after three or 500, three or 400 scans. I'm getting in here and I'm wiping it down because um, when you can start seeing a little bit of lint here or there, then you're going to start seeing uh, more pronounced different uh scratching and or just what appears to be scratching and stuff so just use a microfiber cloth get into your machine wipe it down you know if you really want to be, be peculiar then do it after every single time you scan 100 cards or so um that that would help and that has helped me to maintain where you know the, they look the, the scans look pretty good but here's what i'm gonna say about it all so i'm using this using this this scanner for low end stuff, ten dollars and under. Most of it's five dollars and under. If you see my shorts every day, it's I'm selling cards for one to three to four dollars every day with scanning with scans on this. So people aren't going to be that picky. I, I've I've looked into like Burbank sports cards and some of the other um, people on eBay that have millions millions of cards listed. They'll even have stock photos, you know, from Beckett Marketplace. They'll, and they'll, they'll they state that in the description that. You know, they're, they're, this may or may not even be the actual card represented. So it could be just a stock photo, right? So people don't care that much, as much as you think that they might. There are, the, you know, the certain individuals. So what I did, if you look in the description of listings that are used with this scanner, I have a disclaimer in there saying that I use a high resolution scanner and I put a penny sleeve on the card and that if there are uh, scratches present, they're likely on the uh, penny sleeve. 
and that you can request uh, additional images and I will try to honor that within 24 hours of the request. So I'm not going to do it immediately. I'm not going to drop everything if I'm having lunch with the family and run out here for a $3 card to show you more scan. But I had, you know, honestly, I haven't had anyone uh, even request more images. So I think people are blowing it out of proportion and it's not that serious. It's just not that serious. So with $5 cards and less, people don't care that much. They're not looking for, you know, two great cards from cards they bought for a dollar or two or three on eBay. Okay. So don't overthink that part of it if you're going to use this, but it may not work for you. So if it doesn't work for you, just return it and just move on with your life. Just do you. Next up, I'm going to show you my next tool in the tool belt. All right, so what you're looking at here is an overhead scanner, overhead document scanner that has a 12 megapixel camera, if you can see. And it just basically uses optics to look down on this pad that comes with it. So you just roll it out. It's just a just a black pad and you gotta use their, this, it, it works with their software. So I don't even know how to pronounce the name of it. It's a C. Z U R Caesar, yes, the Caesar, and there's a bunch of these. There's a lot of these. I got uh, the Caesar uh, Lens Pro, I think it is. It was only like a hundred dollars, maybe 105. There was like a 10% uh, coupon code on Amazon, and uh, so so think about that. So I'm, I'm at 300 on this, and like 105 on this, so four, maybe 450 taxes, fees, shipping, everything over on Amazon for this setup now. Whereas the, you know, the Fujitsu is a thousand dollars by itself. So, but what I'm using this for is for slabs, um, and then higher end cards. So, and then you, this one has some pretty neat little features. I'll show you it in action and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk it over and you can, uh, you know, it's not high end. Like I said, it's only a hundred dollars or so. So, you know, expectations can't be again, super high, just like the Epson. It's not the cream of the crop. It's not the best brand in the world, but um, it does it does the job. It does very a very very good job and a quick job. Rather than the flatbed scanners, that you got to open up and position and crop, and it does it auto crops. This thing auto crops. You can multi target. All right, so I think you can see. So you can see the PC. You can see this uh, scanning area, and um, I'm gonna take this out of the graded card sleeve bag. I launch the software here. It's, uh, you gotta download the software. It comes with a CD, but no one uses uh, CD-ROMs anymore. This this laptop doesn't even have a uh, CD, DVD um, disc holder on it, you know? Most don't. So launching the software here, and you can see, and this is what it looks like. You click scan, and it'll then pick up on the device. Now you see, it's, uh, so here you go. So this is what it looks like and but like i said the neat thing is actually if you wanted to do multiples remember how well you can see it picks up on multiples but you can see in the center it gets too much glare on it so that wouldn't necessarily work you could turn them sideways and get multiple that way you just got to be kind of careful about it there you go so you could you could scan them this way but honestly what i like to do just for ease of use to scan these is just do them one at a time so and i look and try to see where the glare is the least probably there um click scan flip it over click scan next card scan flip it over scan next card scan Flip it over, scan. So you can see, and it's taking, that's the front and backs of all those in the right order as well, which is key. If you use the multi-target, you know, once you take an image of all of these, and then it'll take an image of the back, you gotta rename them in a, in your, in a folder. So it actually isn't really efficient. Now, you get into like a, a SGC, well this one, see, it's kinda, it's kinda breaking it up. It's not really picking it up that great. And then it's kind of, and it, well, there you go. It looks good right there. I could use that, but I'm going to show you another functionality that it's got. So let me get it straightened out. So if I wanted to do it like this and you want to get more, you want to get a bit of a buffer, you could switch it to where you scan the region, click control and mouse and you draw a region and then you have a little bit more of a border around it and then scan it. Bam. 
flip it over, leave that there, and you could just leave that frame there the whole time and just scan all your scans within that. Do the back, bam. Um, and like I said, I could I could actually even do PSA in there so I could show you uh, so you can see the border better. This side, that don't look as good here, so. I'm gonna go to flat paper and put it back. So if I wanted to do it for PSA, I would change the the side. If I wanted more of a buffer around it, like that. Scan, bam, flip it, scan, bam. So there you go. And um, so I'm listing a lot of cards this way as well, and it's working out pretty nice. Using this as another tool, using this device as another tool in the tool belt, to grow and scale on eBay. I've actually started doing, I'm doing about, I'm listing probably at least 100 cards a day, 100 to 200 with the the scanner. And um, and then I'm doing five to 10 auctions. I'm running auctions on things that make sense um, on, on an auction, or just higher end to, to uh, cause what I wanna do is, cause you get 250 with eBay per month with the uh, standard store, right? So um, you do the math on that if you do, 10 a day you could do that for 25 days out of the month so if you did five a day you, you know you wouldn't even eclipse it so i figure if and, and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna have them i'm, I'm doing them at night around seven cst and uh, so then there will be I'll, every day i'll have a, a five to ten auctions ending and hopefully sell most of those whatever they sell for just let them let her rip you know what i mean so that, that's gonna bring in consistent churn of cash flow into the business as well so today go i hope you guys enjoyed this and um and i, I did want to say i've been getting like a lot of dms on instagram twitter facebook it's, it's almost came to the point where it's overwhelming because a lot of you have a lot of questions and i honestly I'm, i am i've tried to respond to most of them i just if I don't get it when they come in, I'll likely just forget about it and just move along and may not come back to them. Um, so anyway, I, I just say that to say that I, I appreciate everyone that is reaching out, but you know, it's, it's going to be hard for me to get to everyone's um, questions. I know some of you just were like trying to pick my brain and stuff like that. And I do not mind it. I'm just, just letting you know that if I don't get back to you, I'll, I'm apologizing in advance because there's, you're not the only one there's been quite a lot of people that have so it, it, to me it's encouraging though because a, a lot of people are actually putting it to, a lot of this stuff into practice and are having really good results so that's pretty awesome so keep grinding keep doing your thing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video if you haven't already that's all i got till next time guys deuces